everybody wants to have a beautiful dynamically colored Linux rice, but not that many people want to put a lot of effort into creating custom theming scripts. And so today we are going to check out amazing modules for NixOS and Home Manager named Nix Colors that are meant to solve this issue in a simple, practical and declarative way. But before we begin, you need to know what Base16 is. It is a project meant to simplify the coloring of your programs and it includes hundreds of themes, configuration templates for software and programs that apply these templates. It might sound complicated, but each scheme is just a file containing 16 hex codes, some background and foreground colors and also some more colorful ones. Here you can see the Groovebox color scheme file for example, which has all of these colors in a YAML format and they look something like this. And the base 16 templates are moustache files, which just contain the program specific configuration files or their parts, just like this YAML file for Alacrity, which has all of these pieces of syntax, which are meant to be replaced with colors by base 16 injector programs. And now we come to Nix Colors, a pair of amazing modules that use the base 16 color scheme, but instead of templates, just provide the color codes to be used within your Nix projects. Luckily NixOS configuration file and home manager already provide the means to customize the colors of your favorite programs, so let's install the Nix colors as a flake and take a look at some example use cases. I am going to use this basic Nix flake, so if you don't know how it works or what flakes are, check out the flake or home manager video on the channel. Let's simply include the Nix colors flake in the inputs and then expose inputs to our entire output set with this add input syntax. We can now simply pass Nix colors to home manager like this or Nix configuration file like this. Make sure to add the inputs to the parameter set in your home manager configuration and then include the module in the imports. And now we have access to all of the schemes. Open the link in the description and here you can find all of them, including my favorite Groovebox, as well as the popular One Dark, Tokyo Night and Everforest. Select any of them by simply writing inputs.nixcolors.colorscheme.whatever theme you want and we can now go and give our program some style. We are going to make our configuration very clean and modular, so let's include a features directory in the same location as the home manager configuration and put all of our programs there. We can now import the modules inside this directory simply by adding them to the imports array. These modules are going to take a set containing packages and config as a parameter. Config is a part that we are interested in because it provides us with the values from the main configuration file meaning that we can get all of our colors from there. As a very simple example, we can start with the Mako notification daemon, which has this border, background and foreground colors in its home manager config. We can simply pass our colors to it in a string, because we also want to add the sharp symbol before each one of them. So now writing this is equivalent to having these colors hardcoded into the file, except we can also easily affect them by changing the color scheme key in our main configuration file. If we rebuild the home manager configuration, we can now see that Mako is colored with the Groovebox colors. One of the most used applications of any Linux power user is the terminal, so let's add an Alacrity module to the imports and create the corresponding Nix file. Alacrity's config requires a 0x instead of a sharp before each hexadecimal value, so we can do it simply like that. And our terminal emulator can now also adapt its colors to whatever color scheme you choose to use today. You can find all of the code blocks in the link in the description by the way, because this one is quite big. But let's say that we have some file that is so obscure and unusual that your machine is the only one that can have it. Maybe you have your own program that reads some color values from my super cool color values file.xml in the home directory. Let's simply create another module in the features and add it to the imports in the main file. Here we can set a key in home.file.mysupercoolcolorvaluesfile.xml.txt which is going to create a file in the desired location and put whatever we provide in a string inside. It means that now we have access to all of the Nix language features to use with this file and can simply interpolate our colors inside it like this. Now rebuild your system, use the cat command to check the content of this file and see that it actually contains all of your required colors. You can use this technique to color any file that is not part of Home Manager. And there is also xdg.config file set. It is used to declare files in your xdg config directory in case it is not set to .config on your machine or in case you just want everything to be clean. As you can see, there is nothing complicated about using Nix colors at all and it can help you maintain your configuration files with your ever-changing color preferences. Now I would like to thank the sponsors of this video, especially Hoskins, for a 10 euro per month subscription and also Polycrelate for a recent 1 euro donation. It truly motivates me to keep creating these videos. As usual, don't forget to check out our Discord server, 
leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed this video, or subscribe in case you are feeling extra generous. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.